corncrake is a medium-sized bird, just a little bigger than a blackbird, and best known for the distinctive sound it makes. It has buff or grey streaked, brownish black upper parts, chestnut markings on the wing, and blue-grey underparts, making it well camouflaged. It's a very secretive bird, spending most of its time hidden in tall vegetation, with its rasping call the only giveaway to its presence. They arrive in the UK in April to breed during the summer months, rearing up to two clutches of eggs. In September, they migrate back to Africa for the winter. In the UK, the corncrake is classified as red under the Birds of Conservation Concern and protected under the Wildlife and Countryside Act 1981. They are of high conservation concern because of major population declines, both historically and recently. Once widespread throughout the UK, the population declined catastrophically during the 20th century due to the mechanisation of mowing and earlier mowing of grass crops. By the 1990s, it bred only in the Hebrides and Orkney in Scotland. Since 1992, Government-supported conservation measures to benefit corncrakes have been implemented on a large scale in their breeding areas through agri-environment schemes, during which time the corncrake population has partially recovered. Calling male corncrake numbers in the UK were estimated to be just 480 in 1993, but numbers recovered substantially in their core area, and by 2014 there was an estimated 1,284 males. Unfortunately, the population has declined again by around 30% since 2014, showing that these management measures must continue alongside traditional farming if the population is to survive and that government support is essential. Corn creeks generally require areas of suitable tall vegetation, ensuring that sufficient vegetation is present in spring and autumn as well as in midsummer. Open vegetation such as nettles, flag iris or cow parsley is best with the aim to have at least 20 centimetres high by early April. The vegetation requires to be open in structures such as a weedy field. As corn crakes arrive early in the year, before grass growth, cover needs to be available in the form of nettles or flag iris, both of which have an early growth season. This cover needs to also be available at the end of the season, after the fields have been mown. Tall, arable vegetation is preferred choice in the summer, as long as the date of mowing is delayed as late in the year as possible. For early and late cover, dense growing species such as rushes or bracken are not suitable. Nettles and flag iris with the open structure are the most suitable. Cover needs to be adjacent to good quality meadows so they can utilise both habitats easily and safely. Stopping agricultural operations, including grazing from the 15th of May, will allow corncrake to use the grassland for breeding without disturbance. Delaying the date of mowing will increase breeding success markedly. Corncrakes are at high risk of being killed when fields are mown, so choose as late a cutting date as possible. Early mowing can destroy nests, but mowing after the 1st of September will save nests and chicks. Up to about 60% of chicks are killed by the usual mowing practices because they are reluctant to cross parts of the field that are already cut. Chicks may be at risk from mowing several times before they can fly as successive fields are mown. Cutting from the centre of the field out towards the long vegetation can reduce this risk substantially. In summary, corn crakes need suitable, undisturbed early cover as they arrive from migration. They often raise their first brood here before moving to meadows or arable crops where they need enough time to raise a second brood before the field is cut. It is essential that early cover and late cutting in a corn crake friendly manner takes place to save nests and chicks and to retain our corn crake population. Further information can be found on the Farm Advisory Service website.